the atrium of Akinash. A world shut inside another. This is what humans do when they don't understand a thing. They build walls around it. They put locks on the doors, and they put soldiers in front of those doors. The bigger the secret, the bigger the lock. And the craziest are those who want to pick it. May my ancestors forgive me. I'm one of those to my misfortune. Ah, this noise. These voices. I can't stand it. Amber. That damn golden mud oozing from the heart of the world tree. A magma of sticky dreams. All the thoughts of those who wanted to taste the forbidden sap. Humans. Elves. All their private little chatters mixed up in this disgusting soup. A flood of ideas constantly flowing into my head for all these years. It took so long for me to find this place. With each step, I heard my voice a little less and all the others a little more. I'm so tired. It's time to finish it while I can still recognize my own thoughts. The heart of the tree, it's why I'm here. That, at least, I am sure is my own desire. Take possession of this source of infinite power, but also misfortune. It's time to move to the first phase of the plan. Drop your weapon. And it starts now. Beast, wake up. Answer when Lord Barnumin speaks to you. Who are you? Speak. My name is Styx. There's a surprise. The elves give names to their monsters. Where do you come from? I've never seen anything that looks like you. I am one of a kind. It's the elves who created it, Father, that's obvious. They pulled this runt out of their sticky larvae, and they sent it here to spy on us. Speak. Is it the elves who sent you? Why are you here? <laughs> elves. If you only knew. They don't need spies to find out what's going on in this accursed tower. So, you're working for them. What did you come here for? I came for the heart of the tree, of course. I knew it. Those degenerates want to retake the tree and keep their precious amber for themselves. Father, we must bring them to heal while we still have time. Enough, Aaron. I secured this alliance with the elves and I intend to respect it. For the moment, we need the elves. You know it very well. Rubbish. Oh yes, you do need the elves. How many of you poor little humans died the last time you tried to extract amber by yourselves, huh? How many? Hundreds? Oh yes, you do need the elves. But they don't need you. How long do you think you can lock them up in their own world? The amber is theirs. The tree is theirs. The heart of the tree is theirs. And I intend to get my hands on it and take it away from here. They're dying to get their tree back, eh? But they won't do a thing. We have an agreement. An agreement? We don't sign agreements with people who have amber in their veins. <laughs> You're out of your depth, Mr. Governor. Oh, ho, 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 you've got some nerve. <laughs> I'm sure you've never even seen the heart of the tree. Oh, but I have seen it. Since I've been holed up in the bowels of the atrium, I can see it night and day, even in my dreams. And every day I say to myself, Hey, Rakash, the heart of the tree is over there, almost within reach. And by your life, you're gonna find some way to steal it, because you're not leaving the tower without it. The world tree, it seems so close. It's a mirage. It's so big that it seems to be close. But I still got a long way to go. So, from what I heard, the only access to the heart 
is a bridge which that two-faced Governor Barron has had closed off with a tamper-proof lock, and he keeps the only key in his apartments. And as if that wasn't bad enough, the whole area is crawling with elves. I'm gonna have to go down into the prisons and free my... friend. He knows how to deal with an elf. <laughs> so, if I'm gonna survive in this tower, I'm gonna need somewhere safe to get organized, as well as a map of the atrium. Well, I'll get nothing done standing around here. I'll get my dagger, and then it's off to work. How long have you been hiding in the atrium? I stopped counting long ago. Long before coming here. It gives me a headache. So you weren't born near the World Tree with the Elves? It's not there that they made you? No. I wasn't born in the Amber Lake. On the other hand, you could say that it was there that I died. Sort of. It goes back a long way. At the time... <sighs> Don't waste our time, dog! I imagine in the cesspit where you come from, this cell could pass for an elegant lounge. So let me dispel that misunderstanding. You're not at the Embassy of Akanash, and I didn't invite you here for tea and sympathy. You're in prison, and you're going to tell me without any nonsense how you counted on getting your hands on the heart of the tree. Then? The Executioner here will take you to the laboratory and store your body in separate jars. On that point, you were right. It is here that you will die. Did I say that? Well, it's very simple. The first part of my plan was to find my bearings in your tower. And the only one who knows every corner of your hovel is the one who built it. The Architect. Your old friend, Querberus. But what a great plan. What a pity Kerberos mysteriously disappeared once his work was finished, isn't it? Oh, really? He disappeared? Ah, oh, now that's unlucky, isn't it? But no matter. Because our dear Kerberos did not disappear without signing his work. Apparently, he left the complete plans of the tower somewhere inside the Akanash Library. And everything is there for the one who knows how to look. So I said to myself... Hey, Rakash. We're gonna move your butt. Find that library and dig us out the secret plans of the atrium. Sticks, welcome home. I'm upstairs if you need anything. Not a bad hideout, Oscan. It's dripping with just enough moisture to save me from getting parched lips. Hmm. This might sound strange, but can you remind me how we met? You're right. It does sound strange. You must have taken a nasty blow to the noggin. It's lucky we met, especially for you. You wanted to know some stuff? And I wanted to recover some stuff. You're good at stealing, I'm good at dealing. It didn't take long to come to an understanding. That's how it works in the bowels. Yeah, uh, hmm, it's coming back to me. I think. Listen, I gotta get to the Akanash archives. Any idea of the best way to get there? The library, eh? I can show you the way through the sewers, yeah. But what can someone like you do in there? I know it's none of my business, right? I'm looking for a map of the atrium. I can't always rely on the guidance of a blind old man. The plans, eh? In that case, one of my men, Hector, a copyist, could be your guide in this labyrinth. And how do I find, uh, what's his name? The Marks. I'll tell Hector and he'll leave some for you. You just have to follow them. Understood. And while we're on the subject, you know a safe way out of this tower? 
When I'm done here, I don't plan on hanging around longer than I have to. You want to leave the atrium? You could hop on an airship, but you'd still have to know when one is leaving. It can be months before the order is given to send one. So, who gives the orders? I don't know. It's paperwork. It's irritating, you understand? I don't like to strain the eyes. But I happen to know that all the signed orders are stored in the transport office. You could uh, forge one to suit your plans. Hmm, I'll try it. Thanks for the info. Well, I'm off. Oh, wait. If you wanted to thank me, you could maybe bring me back something from the library? Go on. I've heard that a renowned treatise on alchemy is hidden there. The kind of book that's so radical that it was placed under a glass cover. Good. If I find it, I'll bring it back for you. See you later. Oh, one last thing. You're the rough and ready type, aren't you? If I were to ask you to eliminate someone for me, would you do it? Quietly, without making waves? You're starting to ask a lot. If I do it, it better be worth it for me. Don't worry, I fully understand that my eternal gratitude will not suffice. Anyway, in the docks, should you cross the path of a laborer called Godbert, make sure he has a little accident. I didn't appreciate it. Enough with the life story. We do some business, that's fine by me. As long as you pay. See you later. Well, according to Ozcan, the transport office is at the center of the embassy. Distinguished diplomats, you will have a surprise invitee at the negotiating table. The transport office shouldn't be far. If I can get away on an airship, I'm grabbing it. Hey, you asleep? You better not die before I've been able to take care of you. Answer the governor. Who told you of the existence of these plans? Who told you where they were? Speak! Who? Everyone. And no one. Sometimes you just have to listen to people thinking. And you, you think so hard, you humans. You prattle on all day long inside your little skulls. What are you going on about? Listen to people thinking. You still hadn't understood? All those desperates who had the bad idea to taste amber. I hear their thoughts. I hear everything they think. And the elves, they're like me. They hear your guards thinking that they'd hope for a bit less boredom thanks to a small dose of this golden poison. It appears that smuggling doing well. The elves have had your tower under surveillance since the beginning, Barrowman. Lies! You're making it up. Oh, really? Yet I can clearly hear your torture thinking that this morning he sold the pipe of a prisoner to be able to pay for a little smuggled amber. And also that his balls are itching. There is no contraband in Akinash. Consummation of amber is prohibited. You're talking nonsense. Aaron, you will gather your men and inspect the bowels of the tower. I want to know the truth. But father, if the elves are spying on us, wouldn't it be better to focus on- Don't meddle in diplomacy. I'll make sure to summon the elf ambassador. And if they are watching us, he will answer for this betrayal. If you say so, father. And so you managed to get hold of the plans of Akinash. Have you given them to the elves? Well, anyway, Querberus was the only one able to decipher them. No. I still had stuff to do inside your walls before returning to the World Tree. I heard that access to the heart of the tree, the bridge, was protected by a tamper-proof lock. And that you keep the only key in your apartments. So I said to myself, And so, I'm off to Lord Barrowman's place. What? Did you spill some brains, or have you just got a death wish? You want to turn up at the big boss's place just like that? Well, I would have announced my visit with a hunting horn, but I left it in my other pants. Listen, friend. If you really want to go there, I might just know how to get you inside. 
I'll explain, if you'd just be so kind as to bring me back a small souvenir in exchange. You wouldn't know how to get to the heart of the tree by any chance, because it would save me time. Ah, uh, no. If I knew that, I would already have sold it myself. <laughs> the heart of the tree. Well, just reach right in the tree and grab it, old son. <laughs> well then, okay, I'll see if I can find what you want. Spit it out. I know that Barryman has a secret room in his apartment, and I'd like to know what it's used for or what's inside. For someone like me, that kind of information is worth big money. Hey, finding secret rooms is what I do. Listen, every day Barryman gets a delivery of huge chests containing his clean clothes, food from his personal reserve, and documents that he has brought up from the library. All you have to do is to get inside one of the chests and be delivered to his home. What do I look like? Pastrami? Then again, I got nothing to lose. What is it you need me to get? I don't know. Anything that looks expensive. I've never set foot inside the governor's place, but there must be plenty. <sighs> okay, I'll see. Will that be all, my prince? No. There's a guy. Owain. The foreman of the reinforcement works. A crook at heart, like you and me. Except that all of a sudden, the guy wants to go straight. He had a vision. <laughs> you know the type. Anyway, I don't know what's bitten him, but he threatened to inform on some of my guys if I didn't leave him alone. I get the feeling that a friend of yours is going to have an accident. Yes, but more than that, I want to make an example of him. Something that says, when you do business with Oscan, it's for life. Or death. Bring his body back to me, and I'll arrange a small show in public. Damn. Transporting a corpse. This is gonna cost you, buddy. I hope it's worth it. Sitting up to your ass in water all day long. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Hey, you'll never guess what I found in the old boy's place the other night. A secret passage. What? Have you gone crazy? I swear, it's true. I was cleaning the books, I moved one, and it unlocked a secret door. Who'd have thought it? What lay behind? Treasure? A torture chamber? No, just an office. An uh, office? Doesn't he have enough as it is? The other offices aren't good enough for him. Is that it? Shh! Someone could hear us. So? Nice and comfy, are we? Come on, off to work and be quick about it. Well, let's visit this secret office. The key has to be there. That's not possible. You weren't able to enter the high quarters, and even less my apartments. You're lying. He never went further than where my men captured you. I don't know what your game is, but it doesn't wash. You're right. I didn't enter your home. Just like I didn't find the secret passage next to your bed. What? You? All right. Suppose that you have the key. What did you do with it? My men didn't find it on you? Don't worry about that. I gave it to someone to keep it safe. Dirty scum! You... Could it be? I must be sure. Aaron, take my place. Finish this interrogation. <laughs> you may well scare my father with this story of a key. True or not, I know a sure way to prevent anyone from reaching the heart of the tree. Guards! Listen to me. I order you to destroy the bridge that leads to the heart of the tree. Ah, curse you. Do you have any idea what that would mean? A simple preventative measure. And then I'm sure that you'll provide me with a good reason to break this alliance with the elves. Hmm. They're not quite as stupid as you look. It's obvious that this alliance couldn't last. But... You can't shut away a tree in a tower. Sooner or later, nature reasserts itself. 
By all the demons. If you don't tell me right now what the elves are up to, I swear that the torturer won't have to bother himself with ripping your limbs off. What was the next part of your plan? Who was this friend you wanted to free? I went to release an ally. Someone vital to my plan. Who you are holding prisoner. What? Who... Who are you talking about? No one has ever escaped. Oh. You haven't worked it out yet? I'm talking about the prisoner in cell 5, of course. Cell 5? What's that supposed to mean? It's... Hey, Styx. So, did you manage to find Barryman's secret room? Yes. It's his personal office, and bad news. He's keeping track of you. <laughs> Don't you worry. It's been a while since I had old Barryman running in circles. But he's got nothing on me. Oh, you are sadly mistaken. He's found one of your hiding places. The one on the docks? <laughs> yes, I know. It's a false trail that I left for him. Blind as I am, I wouldn't survive two days in this chaos if I didn't have a bit of brains. Always one step ahead, huh? And here I was worried about you. You should know that in his secret room, there is a system that allows him to listen to all the atrium. Probably build it to listen to you. What are you shitting me? And to think that some said that I was too careful. At least I'm not rotting in some dungeon. There's some good to be said for the sewers, don't you think? We got lucky, you mean. In any case, this information is priceless. If I can do something for you, just ask. As it happens, I'd like you to help me to go somewhere. So, my friend, where are you off to this time? In prison. What? In prison? It's a bit like stepping into the lion's den, wouldn't you say? When I step into a lion's den, it's to fuck a lion. Now, I got someone to free. Oh well, it's very honorable of you. Be careful all the same. This is not any old prison. Life expectancy is short, and nobody ever returns. You're sure he's still in one piece, your friend? I'm certain of it. He's in cell five. If anyone can survive in there, it's him. Oh yeah? And who is he? Do I know him? It's... damn this headache. It makes me want to whack myself. And not in a good way. Man, I could really use some amber. But I can't stop now, can I? Listen, if you go in there, you'll see they have laboratory equipment. The best there is. If you could find me a bulb condenser. A what? You got a problem with your bulbs? Man, that's harsh. Try putting a little cream on them. Works for me. A bulb condenser. It's a piece of alchemist's equipment used in distillation. It's made of glass, very fragile, very rare, and worth a fortune. Bulbs made of glass. Worth a fortune. Yeah. I knew that. However, if you bring it back to me in bits, I'll pay you nothing. I'm no novice. Good. Let's go to prison. They're expecting me. I'm not far. I'm coming. You should thank me, torturer. No one will speak inside your head ever again. What's going on here? Right on time. Brackash. Who are you, dammit? <laughs> Why? Who were you expecting? You thought you were gonna free somebody better looking? My plan. I wanted my plan. I wanted. You simply carried out my orders. You don't even know who you were supposed to free, right? A friend, huh? You never had all the details. You... You're... Ah, I still can't stand seeing your idiotic mug vaguely resembling mine. As though I was looking at my reflection in a pool while I was pissing in it. Well, that's impossible! No! No fucking way! Yeah, I'm Styx. 
the real one. And you're nothing but a bad copy. Thanks for opening the door. You've been manipulating me from the start. Jerking me around like a meat puppet. Damn! But that's over now. Fuck you and your bullshit. Now, it's time to die. <laughs> yeah, sure, go on scream. Make me a nice little diversion. And now I have to catch up with Aaron. If he destroyed the bridge, there has to be another way to reach the heart of the tree. Funny how things change, don't you think? This time, it's me asking all the hard questions. And believe me, boy, I'm very good at getting answers. You don't scare me, Shorty. What are you hoping for? Don't waste your time trying to resist. The mind is a funny thing, you know? If I ask you to think of something, you will think of exactly that thing, whether you like it or not. Amber, it will tell you everything. I must admit that the destruction of the bridge could be a tiny problem. But since you did it without hesitation, you must know another way. Ah, Querberus. He's alive. He knows a way, and you know where he is. It's you who's holding him prisoner. I knew it! Come on, show me where he is. Come on, show me! Ah, demon! Amber is burning my insides! My brain is melting! Concentrate, fool. I don't care if you're scared you'll die. Free me, you rat! I'll show you who's scared! Damn it! My eyes are burning! Ah! Uh, a laboratory to study amber by my ancestors. You're using this old fool to distill amber. You're the one behind the amber smuggling. <laughs> if old Barry knew this, his own son. And this laboratory, where have you installed it? It's got to be here, somewhere in the tower. Come on, you remember? You can see the lab. See the way there. You can see the surrounding area. Hmm. Let's see. Looks like sewers. Am I right? Querberus is being held in the bowels of the atrium. Ah, my head. I, I saw everything. I saw his memories. I recognize this place. It's not far from the hideout. Styx wants to find the architect. So I'll find it before he does. Quick, fuck. Another duplicate. What do you expect? He can't get used to it either. Seeing our mugs. That's why he kills us afterwards. Not me. I'm not a copy. I've been living my own life in this tower for days. I don't need nobody. I know what I'm doing. You sure? How do you know? <laughs> that you're not still obeying him without knowing it. I know. I have a plan. I don't obey anyone. Me too. I had a plan. Get out of here. <laughs> Well, it was time. I can't wait to but you know, 
sticks will leave no duplicate alive. Yeah, that's what I'd do in this place. Besides, what I do with my own duplicates. No time to get attached to them. They're here to serve me, and that's all. Hmm. Uh, you know how to create your own duplicates? <laughs> Amazing. You may be different after all. He'll survive a few days longer. But... <laughs> but don't kid yourself. Sooner or later, you'll die face down in the shit. Somewhere in one of these tunnels. You can't beat Styx. He's stronger than all of us. They say that hate multiplies your strength. So believe me, I'm stronger than shit. Al... Oh, he's dead. Well, see? Come on, lads. You come the neighborhood and you kill anything that looks suspicious. Off we go! Soldiers, stay alert. Our room was clear. With what's happened in the prison, we may well be visited by a creature of the elves. Cerberus must not fall into their hands. I'm getting close now. The lab isn't far. But where exactly? What if I had a little chat with this soldier? He seems to be the guy in charge. All right. Listen up. Here's the deal. I ask you one question, and you get one chance to answer. Keep it short. Where is Querberus? Uh, 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 the murals room. Sticks, you're next on the list. I'll find Querberus' lab before you do. Oi, Bodwin. You're the one who feeds Querberus. I'll trade you a month of fatigue duty against one week of guarding the old man. You're joking. I've never eaten so well since I've been looking after him. Don't be a rat. One month of fatigue duty against one week, and we share his ration between us. Go die, you piece of shit. <laughs> well, well. I better discreetly follow this Bodwin. Hello, my friend. Hello. It's Master Aaron who sent you? I'm afraid that the experiment is not quite satisfactory. Amber is definitely an unpredictable substance. I've come to free you, so keep it down, Grandpa. What's your name? Stephen? Felix? Oh, was it Manfred? I'm sorry, Manfred. But as I was saying this morning, this alchemy equipment is totally unsuitable for distilling amber. I need to design a completely different system. Shh, not so loud. You already saw me this morning? Well, I suppose. You suppose? Did you see me or not? But Manfred, you know full well that my brain is unhinged. I can't remember what I did a few hours ago. I know a face like yours shouldn't be easily forgotten, but believe me, there isn't anything personal in it. I forget everyone without distinction. Even the ugly ones. Oh, great. What could make Sticks give a damn about somebody who's lost his fucking memory? Oh, no. I haven't lost my memory. The distant past is still intact. I can't tell you what I ate this morning, but I can recite the mathematical formula of the curve and ideal wingspan of an Arkanash airship. You mean you built the airships? Of course. I invented everything here. I drew up the plans of the atrium. I designed this tower to the tiniest detail. This is my masterpiece. Oh, now I understand. Listen, don't move. I'll check that the coast is clear, and then we can go someplace safe. Or at least, safe-ish. Really? This was planned? Forgive me, but my brain is unhinged, believe it or not. Yes, of course. Those were the orders. Wait for me. Come on. Let's go. I'm taking you to my place. Right. Cerberus is here. I managed to find him. 
good. Good. Now I must question him. Get information. How to reach the heart of the tree. There has to be a way. Come on, Rakash. Make him talk. Come on. What? Was it me who said that? What am I talking about? I don't give a shit about the heart of the tree. Possibly a fart, but not a shit. All I want is to find sticks and see his head on a platter. That's gonna be my birthday present to myself. My rite of passage. I may have been born yesterday, but I'm all grown up today. From now on, I declare I will obey no one. It in Styx's blood. Well, happy birthday, Rakash. Huh? Happy birthday, Styx. Here, it's your present. I forged it myself. It is magnificent. Thank you. Thirty winters. Yes, it's thirty winters since your mother brought you into the world. You're an adult. From today, you no longer have to obey me. You can decide your own life. Are you sure you want to leave? I am sure, Father. I must make this journey. Finish my initiation. Become a true son. But why so far? I want to see the world tree with my own eyes. Study the amber that flows from it. I felt such a powerful force. Come back one day, son. I promise. Ah, what? I remember. My father gave me a dagger the day. Wait. That's impossible. This memory is not mine. I don't have a past. No past. Sticks. He's fucking up my thoughts. It's not my family, it's not my father. It's not my memory. Sticks, you bastard. Answer me! Did you do this to me? Ah, how ungrateful. I allow you to share my most precious memories and you insult me. Listen, Ragash. You're gonna bring me Quirberus. Your little rebellion has already cost me precious time. You've manipulated me for the last time. I'm not manipulating you. I'm asking you. Bring me Quirberus. And why would I do that? Because I have everything you desire. A past. A name. I don't want your memories. I want you to get out of my head. That can happen. If you help me to reach the heart of the tree, you get your freedom back. Bring me Quirberus. Bring him to my laboratory. Your laboratory? How long have you been holed up in this tower? And where is your laboratory? You know all that. Now hurry. I'm waiting for you. What? But... No, I... The laboratory. But yes. I remember where it is. I think. I know how to get there. Damn. I've never been there. How can I remember that? So you didn't bring Quirberus. And yet, it was in both our interest. You're not making my job any easier. That's for sure. I'm done with being a tool. Pay myself. Oh yeah? oh, yeah? And you decided what? What's your secret goal? How can you know what you want if you don't know who you are? If you are, in fact, nobody. You've never lived anything. You didn't ask to be here. Me, I crossed two centuries of nightmares to reach Akanash. I lost everything. Forever! Now since you're so worn out, why don't you let go? You're just a bunch of old memories that are overflowing, screaming to get out of your skull. 
you're good for nothing. Listen, you and me, we have one life between two. You got the past, leave the future to me. It's a fair deal. Why are you so desperate to kill me, Ragash? Me, who brought you into existence. I want to kill you because, well, at least I know it was my idea. Oh, really? Well, I can't argue with that. And yet, I could almost have whispered it to you. I'm so tired after all these years. All these voices gnawing at my mind. I came here to finish it. So, asking you to kill me is almost a good idea. Assuming, of course, that you're able to, which isn't the case. Oh, you think so? Wait and see. The fun is over. I don't need a defective tool. Shut up! Everyone, shut up! Ah! I feel it. An elf! He's approaching! Quick, get out of here before my head explodes! This... This reflection... It's me? What have I become? A... a Rakash? A monster? What have I done? I feel so weak. How long ago did I leave my family? I am no longer worthy of being an orc. May my ancestors forgive me! What? What? Where am I? Emmet, you're alive. I was afraid that I would arrive too late. You saved my life, Elf? Why? I may have a few screws loose, but I think if any of you assholes were friends of mine, I'd remember it. We have a common enemy. I am an ambassador, the elf representative to the humans. I know that Styx aims to steal the heart of the tree. And the tree cannot live without its heart. Its death will lead to the destruction of Akhenash. Styx is constantly seeking to poison relations between elves and humans in order to have a free hand. All it needs is a spark, and then it will be war. And you were counting on me to stop him? I know that Styx and I look alike. But I'm the one who just got my ass kicked like a rookie, you know? He's stronger than me. I can't beat him. You will stop him. These are things that we elves can foresee in the Amber. But for that, you must rid yourself of his mark. The one that allows him to maintain his hold over you. And I know a way. What? Where do I sign? Does it hurt? Tell me, damn it! Without this link between us, I could face him on equal terms. At the moment, you are but an imperfect duplicate. But if you were to place yourself inside one of our empty cocoons, you could become complete and be reborn as a perfect creature of the Amber. Anything to break my link to sticks. Make it quick. Time is short. 
Take me to an empty cocoon. I will do it, but there are more pressing matters. The destruction by Aeron of the bridge that leads to the heart puts us in a situation close to war, but it has allowed us to delay Styx's plan. Now that we have Quirberus, we must get him out of here. Without him, Styx will never find out how to reach the heart. All that remains is for you to escape his hold, and then to track him down and kill him, and I shall help you. But the most urgent task is to restore diplomatic relations between humans and elves. I have requested an audience with the governor. I shall expose the scheming of his son, Aeron. As a man of reason, Barryman will understand, and tensions can be eased. I just need you to collect some documents from the library. I shall tell you more on the way. Very well. I'll help you to get these documents, and then we put Quirberus in the first airship leaving the atrium, and I get rid of this cursed mark. And finally, a Styx hunt. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. Thank you. But before I leave, I must tell you that the other elves do not look kindly on our cooperation. Do not expect to be treated as a friend by my kin. The feeling's mutual. Here are the documents as agreed. But you should take a look at this. It was meant for Aaron. Let me see. What? It's a fake. A fake document signed by me, ordering all the elves to attack this night. If other fakes such as this reach Aaron, war is guaranteed. The excuse that he was lacking to commit a massacre. Obviously, Styx is behind this. It is urgent that I speak to Baronet. Hide in this closet. He must not see you. Okay. Welcome, dear friend. I'm happy to be able to clear up some matters with you. Have you heard about the creatures who invaded our jails? Have you any idea of their origin? You see, there are rumors that the elves... Governor, I must discuss certain problems with you without delay. I have got wind of a conspiracy that involves... Oh! Stick! Oh! No! Elf, I'm bringing Quirberus to you. Be ready to leave. Damn it, I hope I'm not too late. Companions, it is with a heavy heart that I take on my father's mantle as governor of Akinash. I had hoped for other circumstances than this odious murder, but my desire to bring order to the atrium is more fervent than ever. You have our full support, Brother Aaron. Thank you. My first decree was the introduction of a curfew for the elves. My second decree will be to pardon all smugglers who are in our jails. In these difficult times, our race must close ranks, and a human convict will always be worth more than an elf, even disguised as an ambassador. My brothers, it's up to us, the superior race, to enforce our rights in the natural order of things, and to combat degenerate species. Bravo! Well said! 
You, my friend, you really have some paying back to do. Yes, you do. Good. I shall take the first airship to go and swear allegiance to the Emperor and formalize my title. Upon my return, the elves will be confined to the distillery. The area will remain locked and will be overseen by one of my agents. He alone will have access in my absence. Is that clear? He's right! The spy system installed by Quirberus for Barriman. Looks just like the dick who invented it. Let's see. The main duct. The one which listens to the tree. The world tree. Finally. Quick. Find the heart. Find sticks. Tattoo a little too showy. Not my style. And surprisingly, my headaches have been much better since I got reborn. You should try it. Real rush. So go and live your life somewhere else, and leave the heart to me. My life starts now. For the first time, I'm certain of what I want. No elf or rack ash like you is going to tell me what to do. Akanash, the heart, I don't give a shit about any of it. I just want... I just want to make you suffer as much as you made me suffer. Yeah. I know what might really piss you off. What if I destroyed this heart that you want so much? Would you and all the other mind-fucking dickheads like that? Huh? Would you? No! Don't do that! I... I forbid you! You too are a creature of the Amber! You will lose all your memories! But Styx... I ain't got no memories, remember? A flawed creature like you can never defeat me. Even if you no longer carry my mark, I have other ways to find you. Go say hello to your brother, Vermin. After all these years... What the fuck is that? Damn fucking elves! Even dead, you still get in my way. Let me be! Rackers! No! Ah, no! Don't touch the heart! Rackers! Ah, fuck! Beat it! Ah, go haunt someone else! Give me the heart. 
this shit has destroyed my life. I was a proud and free orc, and this is what Amber has made of me. A puny runt with a burnt-out brain, sentenced to vomit his despicable reflection again and again, to be sure he never forgets his curse. But if I had the heart, I could study it. Find a way to become as I was before. What are you talking about? Our buddy is perfect for surviving in this shithole. Small, sure, but quick and mean. I was only born yesterday, and I can already see how the beings are rotten here. Yeah, in fact, I like being me. Enough raving. You may have the heart, but you can't beat me. So just give me the heart if you want me to spare you. <laughs> You don't get it, do you? Live or die, it doesn't matter as long as it's not an order given to me. Watch me, Stinks. Look at me while I choose my destiny. No! Stop! If you break the heart, everything will collapse! The heart! I almost had it! I could have become an orc once more! What have you done, you fool? We'll become empty shells. I'm gonna bleed you if it's the last thing I do. Oh no, Sticks. I'm the one who will choose my own death. And I don't know if it makes me proud or sick to my stomach. 